The war on truth in Silicon Valley continues. Facebook has labeled my factually flawless video on disease at the border as fake news simply because the lazy dotards at PolitiFact, whom Facebook employs to fact check their videos, didn't like it. Because when it comes to the issue of disease at the border, you're not allowed to talk about it. And those who do will become silenced. No, you're not allowed to talk about the truth. And if they see anything on it, regardless of if it's true, they flag it as fake, even if it's not. So it's been about a week. I was very patient. I very politely tried to get it reversed. I was very professional and very polite. And I emailed PolitiFact and I said, ahem, <clears throat> Uh, can you guys please show me where my factual error was? And they emailed me back with a number of statements that were false on their end or that I didn't say. And when I emailed them pointing this out, guess what? They didn't respond. So now it's game on, baby. It is time for fire and fury. So honest question for our Facebook viewers out there. How do you feel about the fact that Facebook employs these so-called independent fact checkers who are partisan liberals to go over videos on Facebook and label the ones that they don't agree with as fake news? Because, you know, once this label gets applied, Facebook admits they suppress the views on the videos. You can't see them or at least fewer people can see them. They, and, it, and it's up there forever. The video has a mark next to it that says this is not factually accurate content. Frankly, what Facebook is doing is wrong. It is misleading to their users. There was nothing factually inaccurate about my video, but yet it still has that stain on it simply because Facebook's independent fact checkers didn't like what I was saying. So here's what happened. Last week, we made a terrific video about all the deadly diseases immigrants are bringing into the country and how hapless border policies are not doing much to protect against the threat of a huge spreading Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. There's no doubt in my mind this is a danger, and any sane nation would pay attention to it, like Angola is. Here was a bit from that video. You would think that migrants coming in from a country with the worst Ebola outbreak in memory, I don't know, there might be a little bit of a different protocol, maybe a quarantine, maybe actually hold them. Isn't that a novel concept for the full incubation period? But nope, nobody know, that's too logical for them. So instead, Daniel Horowitz, our pal conservative review, he goes, he asked CBP, hey, you know what, do you have a different protocol for dealing with migrants from Congo or other African countries, you know, places with these diseases? You know, like, I don't know, not releasing them immediately like they do Central Americans. And the CBP spokesperson told him, nope, quote, the process is the same. Officers and agents review all individuals they come in contact with for signs of illnesses and notify CDC as needed. Well, we told you why that won't work, because sometimes you can't detect the disease. So Angola, they've shut down their border to Congo because of the whole Ebola problem. Is uh, Angola, are they racist? No, they're just smart. But because of political correctness, we're not supposed to be talking about this. They don't like us talking about this issue. And so they label it as partially fake on Facebook to mislead viewers into thinking we don't know what we're talking about. Well, we do. And to be careful, they say you have to be careful when you're watching this video because it contains misleading information. Well, it doesn't. So we put out the video on Facebook. Everything I said in the video was 100% accurate. We cited all of our sources. We included extensive research, research from my colleague, Daniel Horowitz, who's literally been pouring over this stuff for months, if not a year now. We made sure it was buttoned up. We made sure it was bulletproof. We made sure it was all accurate. But that didn't matter for Facebook. We got a notification that gave my video a mixture rating on content. False, they wrote. Are migrants with diseases like Ebola being dumped in San Antonio? No. I, li I literally said no such thing. That is not what I said. I literally never said that. In fact, I made zero mention of San Antonio in my video. At San Antonio? I didn't talk about San Antonio. And I actually even said this. Customs and Border Protection saying, okay, there have not been any confirmed cases of Ebola just yet. But I mean, tick tock, right? Because we're playing with fire here. 
So I said they confirmed there haven't been any cases of Ebola yet. But the slovenly fact checkers at PolitiHacks, they went in, they found some unrelated article, unrelated to anything I said, and they plastered it on my video and said it was fake. I did not say migrants with Ebola are being dumped in San Antonio. It's literally something I never said. And it's a smear to say that I did. The warning that they gave us continues to say, quote, to fight false news, Facebook reduces the distribution of misleading content while also showing additional reporting on the same topic. Pages and websites that repeatedly publish or share misleading content will see their overall distribution reduced, their ability to monetize and advertise removed, and their ability to register as a news page removed. People will also be able to see if a page has a history of sharing false news. Really false news by whose standards? Deleting this misleading content won't affect these outcomes. You are stained forever. Stained forever. And so now my video, when my million and a half followers go on Facebook and they go to view it, my video has a warning next to it. There's a big meter with a thing. It's on the false. Even though the video is not false. How, how is that acceptable? 